Hey there again. Early season training. That's what we're doing. We're we're really getting rolling here. We've wrapped up a land tune-up drill in January. That was a dandy. I have to tell you what, the dogs are really, really benefiting from that. But our focus point right now are landmarks and landmarking concepts. And I like to pick a theme, do it for an entire week. It's a great way to get your dog rolling on some of these important concepts. I started out with two check down birds. I'd go for a long first bird retrieved and I'd work on these dogs stopping and checking down after they've gone long because that's always a challenging scenario. Now, I didn't do it with any secondary selection scenarios. I didn't do it with super complex situations but I really do like to do those, repeat the theme of checking down after I've gone long for my first bird retrieved. Then I may get into secondary selection scenarios where I add more discipline to those short birds. That was my second week. I did indented triples, some inline triples, and I would do two and sometimes three of those a day. Now, you're going to be anxious once again to get rolling and dive into this full bore. But I suggest early in the theming process, you do singles. You set up the same scenario and you run them as singles, even with your advanced dogs. It's a great way to get started on that test theming. So I started with two check down birds after I went long. Then I added some secondary selection to these short birds. Then I went into some punch birds. Long retired. I call them punch birds because you've got you've to have momentum and you've got to go a long way. And if you're going to venture into field trials and you've been in hunt tests, this is one of the hardest birds for you to transition to because you have to drive past oftentimes a lot of, through a lot of scent. You've got to go longer than you're used to going. And a lot of times you have to go behind or past the flyer fall, which can be really difficult, even for dogs that are used to it. So I, I go, I've just finished up punch bird week and I've got a bunch of really good tests. And I'll send a few diagrams with you on that because it, 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 it was a very valuable week. And I've been editing some videos and really looking at some great stuff on our work on our punch birds. So, hey. When you get back to training, don't be random about this early season preparation. Pick a theme of a test, repeat it multiple days in a row or multiple training sessions, and then move on to another one. This is the time to bore in and not worry about being too balanced in a given week. I think dogs learn how to do these concepts much better when you spend five, sometimes six setups replicating the previous one. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but the overall theme or flavor of the test needs to resemble the previous one. So, hey, join me in doing some test theming early in the year, and I think you're gonna see really good progress in your dog's understanding of some of these complex concepts that hunt tests, field trials. I've seen them at the Master Nationals. I saw them at the SRS, and I see them at field trials on a regular basis. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon.